Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for May 27th to June 2nd, 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and we can go straight away to the, uh, to the spread. Alright, so... The first card, which represents the topic for Gemini, that will be the Eight, the, uh, eight of uh, Swords. Followed by the second one, which is the challenge itself, uh, that will be the, uh, the challenge for the week, that is, that will be the Ten of Wands. Third card stands as a, a positive aspect of the week, that will be the Six of uh, Swords. And then the last one, which is stands for the... Uh, for guidance from tarot that will be the strength card so we do have once again the topic eight of swords followed by the challenge ten of wands after that we do have the positive the positive aspect which is the six of swords and finally that will be the uh, guidance here from tarot the strength card so uh, just from the overview it's pretty straightforward reading here what we do have and uh, that week, uh, Gemini's, what is to happen is that you will have that insight, if I might classify it as such, that um, you are in a such situation, most likely misfortunate one or whatever misfortunate situation you're finding yourself in, it is because you allow it to be that way. That will be the insight. And um, furthermore, you will start taking actions how to basically break the loop here, how to burst through this magic circle and so on and so forth. So if I have to give you an example, if your relationship isn't working very well, that is because you allow it not to work very well. If you're single, that is because you allow yourself to be a single and so on and so forth. The point here with these cards, Gemini's, is that the dead end situation that that sits with I will start with the first card that sits with the first card which is the topic, and the topic points that you are in a such dead end situation in whatever situation you are you are facing dead end at in regards to your life it is because you do have a contribution into it and in order for you to burst through it or to uh, escape from it you will start realizing that you do have other options available for example leave your abusive partner or do some actions to improve your marriage refuse you know uh, on your behalf refuse on your behalf to <coughs> um, endure that turmoil and so on and so forth because the eight of swords i said it before is the is, is a card of truth and it urges you to recognize the truth because if the truth, if the recognition of the truth makes you free, then the denial of it obviously makes you a slave to the situation. So, <clears throat> that being said, this the topic itself of this week with the Eight of Swords, uh, it seems that you Gemini's are going to seriously reevaluate your uh, how you stand in life, how you stand into your career, how you stand in regards to your relationship life. 
And should you have that open mind to believe and to allow yourself to consider other options available, you can basically achieve improvement in every field of your life, into your career, into your relationship, into your marriage, you know, family situation and so on and so forth. But it will require some courage from you to take the necessary actions. The accompanied card, that will be the... Um, the chariot here and the formation that we do have it is in an active neutral card so uh well with the chariot card uh, to uh, it's it's a very baffling uh combo actually so what uh, this formation here it does represents is that uh it all depends on you basically i mean this breakthrough that you need to do it all can be achieved only by you. If you hope, for example, that someone is gonna help you in any way to um, stir this dead-end situation or many dead-end situations that you do have in your life, that ain't gonna happen, you know? The final decision, the final actions, the, uh, how can I display it? The, um, the determination needs to come from you, from the bottom of your soul, from the bottom of your personality, and uh, so on and so forth. Should you accept that things are as they are and nothing can be done about it, then, um, you know, you will not have your wish fulfilled, you will not have the luck of your hard work, and um, unfortunately, you won't be able to make any conquests moving on forward. But like I said, should you realize that you do have other options available like finding a new job like finding a new suitor you know or like well with family is a little bit more complicated you know but like uh, being able to establish new rules in the family uh, then things then you can find a way you know how to improve your circumstances the uh, challenges here are uh, the ten of ones so challenging wise the ten, of, the ten of Wands, it does point that this is going to be a uh, enormous endeavor for you to take on. Uh, this improvement I'm talking about. Because it will require from you to stick to some sort of a, um, a code of conduit or rather like a, um, a plan of actions that you may not be very agree with or you may find it very overwhelming for you to execute. <clears throat> However, as a challenge, it can and should be overcome. Additionally to that, the Ten of um, the Ten of Wands into this position, it plays that uh, it plays like it could be challenging for you to realize, you know, that you do have another amazing uh, or not amazing but amusing opportunities apart from or outside of this uh, dead end situation that you are finding yourself uh, yourself at in either of. Um, of your fields in life the accompanied card here that will be the seven of wands the formation that will be a active uh, supporters that we do have here so um, the challenge will be additionally to the ten of wands is that you will have to find the right moment and the right approach to the situation of um, to act fronting a frantic um, Performance is not advised at all. What I mean here is, for example, you're trying to uh, improve your marriage. You know, your marriage is not going on very well, let's say, okay? And instead of accepting that your marriage isn't going on very well, you determine yourself to improve it. So how to improve it is the question, right? Well, <clears throat> raising up scandals to your wife or to your husband because you don't, you're not happy of how the marriage stands, you know? and doing stupid things just so with the hope that you are going to stir the marriage forward is not gonna is not gonna cut it out i mean you will need to have a pretty good idea you know what what will actually bring things to fruition so that will happen with time uh, you should not concern yourself straight away with what exactly action you you have to do. Probably the action will come around in the following weeks. All right. Now, this week, we're talking only about the realization that you do have other options available, that your marriage is not doomed, for example, that your career path is not doomed, that you won't be single forever, or you don't have to be with this abusive person and so on and so forth. The next card that we do have for you, Gemini's, which uh, represents the positive aspect of the week, that will be the uh, Six of Swords. 
So Six of Swords here plays a very conditional role. What I mean is that first it all comes to that to your realization or an insight, you know, that you can improve your circumstances. And as I said, it will be a bit frightening because um, you know you you may not know how things are going to unfold after you start improving your circumstances now should you find the right uh, way of how to um, improve yourself or how to improve the, uh, those um, those situations the six of swords it then six of swords comes in play as a positive aspect and it does point that you have nothing to lose basically this is what the card represents here that everything is better than what than the situation as in as its current shape and that even though the threshold of traversing to the new heights or kind of like a, a new prospect of the situation looks frightening right in reality there is nothing you to be afraid of meaning that you you're not risking anything you know so once again if you are in an abusive relationship what do you risk uh walking away from the relationship nothing right uh but you have to do it right okay you 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 need to do it um in a way how how can i display you need to do it in a way how you are going to feel closure for example the accompanied card here that will be the four of pentacles and uh, the, the formation is a active enemies. And for what it seems here, guys, uh, you will not be able to establish the um, a secure future for yourself, which as a positive thing means that anything positive can happen. Basically, these cards are pointing that well, one second. These cards here are pointing that whatever positivity is after, you know, you break the magic circle, you break that unfortunate cycle, it will surpass your expectations. You don't have to be defensive. You will not have to be defensive anymore. You will not have to be uh, afraid anymore. You will not have to be, uh, how do you say it, so protective anymore. But a, a huge variety of options available is going to open for you to choose from. So, uh, yeah, it, it does look like that you will need a, uh, a couple of things throughout this week, Geminis. First, you will need the self-awareness that you do deserve more and that, you know, should you be determined, you can break that uh, magic chain. And as well, um, you need to, uh, it, it will require a courage for you to take an action. <clears throat> And from there, it seems that as you go along, you know, uh, with uh, with those actions, uh, many, many escape routes, if I'm express myself that way, are to open for you. And the final card, which is the guidance here, that will be the strength. So the strength in your case as a guidance asks you for a couple of things. First is... Um, first is that you need to be discreet once you realize or rather like once you have the insight that uh, you need to improve your circumstances and uh, all as well once you have once you figure out how to do it you don't have to brag about it that is very important because you ain't gonna face much of a um, understanding from those around you just like i said at the start you know all will depend on you, not on anybody else. If you wait for your knight in the shining armor, it's not going to come around. It is all in your hands. So you will have to be very discreet about it. That is first thing. And second, has something to do with the challenge here, is that you need to persevere through patience. It's very, very important in a sense of that you need to once again, you know, seize the right moment of, uh, of actions. The accompanied card here, that will be the Hierophant. <clears throat> And the Hierophant to the strength, actually, this is a an active neutrals. And what the card here points, or what these couple of cards here points, they um, they are addressing the right moment of action. And the right moment of action is when you are going to surprise everybody. All right. So this, when everybody expects you to do one thing, you know, you know, and that you everything is negotiated. For example, uh, let's say that you are. I will give the abusive relationship as an example once again. So this, uh, let's say that this person uh, that you are in an abusive relationship with you, uh, kind of like, a, mm, how can I display it? Uh, announce engagement, all right? And in that moment when everybody expects you to uh, accept the engagement, you say no, all right? So it's kind of like a moment of surprise that you need to seek off. 
So uh, and after and when you scope this moment of surprise, obviously everybody going to be in shock, and you will have a huge moment of opportunity here to uh, improve drastically your personal circumstances. So that being said, Gemini's, this was your weekly tarot reading for uh, May 27 to June 2nd, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And um, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.